Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Let's hook up the uh, speaker here. This is not the final connector, it just happens to be the connector that's on a random speaker I have in the garage. That works, the speaker's on. And we have the old card with the chip, our donor donor chip. Let's, let's pop it out. Glad it's on the socket. Alright. And pin one, pin one. Chip is in. And let's boot, let's boot CPM. Alright, everything is ready to go. We're at E0. Alright, let's boot. Open a terminal window here. Alright, uh, this is the fourth disc, so it's on B drive. Okay, and I will run fourth. Okay, I'm loading the uh, screen, and I'm loading. So if this operates correctly, uh-oh. Doesn't look like it's working right. Let's try that again. PC store. Doesn't know what PC store is. What? What? Oh dear. T port. That's it? Huh. Well, let me uh, let me play with fourth. Uh, for some reason, it's not. Um, for some reason, it's not understanding the uh, the language. So uh, let me troubleshoot that. Okay, uh, I'm loading fourth. I, I don't know what was wrong. It's working now. So it's it's loading the um, vocabularies right now. Um, and that takes a while. Okay, now it's loading. It says it loaded the phonemes. Now I think it's loading the words. Okay, it says that words are loaded. Speech is loaded. All right. Now, I think it's probably waiting for the chip to say it's clear to send and it's not. So, 
we may actually need to hook up the reset line uh, on this chip. Um, let's, uh, yeah, it's, it's frozen. It's waiting, um, I think it's waiting for the uh, signal. In fact, we can probably take a look. If we stop it in single step, I can take a look to see if it's doing an input instruction. Well, I don't see an input instruction. I don't know why it's hung up. That would be my guess, though, is it's uh, waiting for the all clear. Um, and pin four, let's see, I guess we can look at that. Uh, let's look at the, let's look at the state of pin four. Right now pin four is high, uh, which, which pin four high means, <laughs> Pin for acknowledge request, open quick to output changes, acknowledge request not. It says a uh, the signal goes low after a phoneme is generated. So I believe we're probably looking for a low signal on pin 4, and we have a high signal. Power down control, power and reset. Yeah, I don't think this chip needs a reset, though. I think other people have used it without a reset, so. Um, the other thing is, um, I don't know if it's expecting a bit or a byte, so I'll look at the software. It may be that we have a bunch of floating pins here, and it may be that um, it's expecting only one bit, uh, so let me... Because I didn't hide the other the other lines low, uh, they're all high. So let me uh, let me check on that for a while, and we're getting closer. Okay, I think I know what's wrong with the hardware. Um, the program is looking for a particular bit pattern, and it's looking for a seven F. And uh, uh, let me just reset this. Seven uh, F would look like like this. So it's looking for the uh, bit 7 to be set. Um, and the way that we have it, uh, it's outputting an FE. Uh, so I just need to move that wire over so that it's on, uh, on bit 7 instead of uh, on bit 0. Uh, so, uh, back to the garage. I'll be back. Okay. Loading forth. Well, then we program. Okay, that's loading.
Phonium's loading. Words loaded. Speech loaded. Ah, this is where it hangs. It's still hanging. It's still something it doesn't like. Well, we'll have to troubleshoot some uh, software again to see why it's uh, hanging out. I'm hoping that chip is good. I mean, we have no idea if that if this old chip is good or not. It may have. Uh, may have been zapped sometime a long time ago, but I'm going to assume it's good. Uh, seems like there's still, still more we can do. Okay, here's my, here's my evil ways. <laughs> I forgot to uh, have a clock signal to clock in the data off of a bus. Uh, and this chip is a bit strange. It's not the read-write pulse. It's actually chip select zero is used as a uh, clock. Um, so you either set the read not write high or low depending if you're if you're reading or writing um, and then the uh, CS0 is used as a high state clock data in so we need to uh, design that and wire that in uh, I have the signal it's one of our signals on the on the card I just need to figure out which one and then wire it in and then we'll be able to send it commands it's not listening right now well, on the printer, uh, I used uh, the uh, data strobe. It needed a negative signal. Um, we need a positive signal, so we should be able to use the uh, data out enable. Um, so, let me wire it up to that and see if uh, see if things improve. I moved my other oscilloscope over because I wanted two traces. So, um, so I'm troubleshooting uh, the timing of this chip. Um, I think I did something wrong. <laughs> um, so uh, first, uh, let's take a look at these um, these ports here. So right now I have a program running. Uh, it's the 333 program uh, to read the switches and then output them to F0. So F0 should be should be firing. Here's the uh, here's the uh, signal for. Uh, match so every once in a while you get a low signal. That's when it's actually being written out. Um, and then there's the um, buffers that are enabled, and so uh, those are um, run by by this output. So we're going to and output and write, and we're going to and that with match, and we should get this data strobe. So uh, so if we take a look at um, take a look at data strobe, that's this here, and we can see that uh, once in a while it's firing high. So that's good. And then these are the uh, these right here are the eight data lines. So this is a D zero right here. Uh, so if I flip D zero, it goes up and down. Uh, D1, D2, Oops. so uh, they all work, D7. So data data is getting out, so that's good. And uh, so uh, we need to present data and then handshake saying data is there. And um, that's going to come on the CS0, the pin 19. 
and that's a high pulse. So let's take a look at pin 19. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We see, oops, got it upside down. We're having, we're having the low pulse. Um, so uh, I had a choice of this line or this line, and I must have picked the wrong one. I must have picked uh, this line. Uh, I, need to, I need to invert that and get a positive going pulse uh, to the chip. Um, and that should be available on the, so pin three of this chip should be, oops, that is the same as that. Uh, no, as, uh, oh, oh, it's upside down. And one, two, three. Ah, so one, two, three is uh, is low going. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's the data strobe. Uh, pin three is data strobe. That's low going. We want this one. So we have to figure out which one of the uh, which pin, I don't have the pin numbers on my schematic. Which pin is uh, being used? And I have some of the pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it has to be. 10, 11, 12. So it should be, I think that's the word, 10, 11, 12. So, uh, yeah, so here, here's the uh, negative going pulse, and here's the negative going pulse. Uh, they're both going into the uh, uh, NAND gate. And so the other side should be, yeah, positive going pulses. So that's the one I want. Uh, so I will rewire it, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's give that a try. Uh, let me put in my little program. Uh, input FF, output to E0, and jump. Zero, zero. All right, and we should be looking at pin 19, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's got high going pulse. That's good. And data lines are flipping. Okay, good. All right, let's. Uh, Boot something and see if it uh, works. I don't think so. Words are loaded. Speech is loaded, and then this is where it hangs. And it's hung again. Wow. Okay, back to the drawing board.